What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion new feature video for you today. So today I'm super excited to talk about this topic. Um, twin motion has released a beta version of an importer for Unreal Engine. Basically what this means is this means this is designed to help you get things from twin motion into Unreal Engine. If you remember one of the things that people really kind of wanted within twin motion was real time ray tracing and some of those other things that can be found inside of Unreal Engine. Well, this importer will allow you to take those things and actually move them over into Unreal where you have a lot more control over your final view. So super excited to talk about this. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember, Twin Motion has their public roadmap online right now, which I will link to down below. It has all of the new features that they're considering, that they're currently work on, working on, and that they've released. And um, so first of all, this is really cool because you can click on one of these and leave a comment or note about how important something is and why. So um, that's something that's really cool because it really allows the community to kind of give some feedback on what's being worked on. Well, one of the things you might have noticed in the last couple days is if you go into the released section down at the bottom of the page there's an option in here for import twin motion products in unreal engine well that is currently moved to public beta so what that means is that means that now you can download this plugin and test it out for getting things from twin motion into unreal engine and so if you click on this and scroll down, note that there's a link that says a public beta has been released here that you can click on. And there's also a marketplace link, which I will, uh, which I will link to in the notes down below. But basically what this is, is this is an importer plugin for Unreal Engine. And you can download this by clicking on the external link right here. So that's going to take you to a download folder right here where you can download um, the public beta of this. Again, notice this is a fairly large file. I've said it before, um, due to the speed of my internet connection, I have not been able to get this downloaded yet. Um, I'm still working on figuring out a way to do that. In the meantime though, um, the, where you're gonna wanna go is first of all, they've got some links down here below. So they want you to give it a try and then fill out the survey. You can also, talk in their forums about the Unreal um, importer. So that's a link right here. So if you have questions or anything like that, there's a good place to go to ask those. Um, but the thing that you're gonna wanna start with is you're gonna wanna start with the instructions because the instructions are gonna walk you through exactly how this works, right? So if you click on this, you're gonna find this file that talks you through all the different things that this can currently do. And so it's gonna be important that you're gonna read through this because otherwise you're just gonna leave comments in the forums and they're gonna say, yeah, we told you this inside of the documentation. So make sure to read through this before you go in and say, hey, my file won't import. Um, well, there's a reason for that. And it's because only specific files are currently working because this is in beta. And so notice how you need at least version 4.25 or more recent as well as twin motion 2020.2.1 so you need to make sure that you have the most up-to-date versions in order for this to work and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to download these three plugins and bring them in so there's a link right here to download the zip file with the plugins and so it tells you exactly what to do you want to unzip those and then you want to install them inside of Unreal Engine so there's instructions in this document on exactly how to do that and you're gonna want to make sure that you go in and enable these different plugins. And so if you've done anything with Datasmith so far, these things are gonna look fairly, um, they're gonna look fairly familiar. So basically it's built on the same import workflow that maybe like the SketchUp um, Datasmith importer plugin is built on. And so you're basically gonna use this the same way that you would for Datasmith imports of any other format. And so um, if we scroll down, there's some things that, that are gonna be important to note. So first of all, you're gonna wanna pay attention to the what works section. So um, this section is gonna tell you what's gonna be working and what isn't. So um, it tells you how the geometry imported gets brought into Unreal Engine. And so one thing to notice is the hierarchy. So the uh, basically the organizational structure should be identical to the one inside of Twin Motion, meaning um, the way that you organize things in Twin Motion should be the way things get brought in inside of Unreal Engine. Notice right here where it shows you that there's several object types that aren't currently supported. So things like furniture, terrain, foliage, decals, um, things like that. So for example, you can see how this is the example file that comes with Twin Motion when it's exported to Twin Motion through Datasmith. Right now, notice that there's things 
things that aren't getting brought in. So parts of the furniture, um, a lot of the uh, models that kind of work as background models, other things like that are not currently being brought in. All right, so notice how there's been a lot of attention paid to the import of materials right now, which I totally understand because getting materials set up in Unreal Engine is a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with their node editor and other things like that. So the ability to bring in these materials into Unreal, I think is gonna be a great feature for sure. Um, so notice how down below, there's some different tips for how this can work, but you can see how um, these twin motion materials can get brought in really easily using this add-on. And so you can see how when it brings these in, there's different things to get linked up like roughness maps and other things, which is great because setting all of those up could be a little bit frustrating in the past. So um, the fact that this is kind of setting these up automatically, I think it's gonna be a really great thing. So I'd recommend you just kind of read through this and kind of give it a try, do some trial and error stuff. Um, note that they tell you some things that they're planning on supporting in the future that aren't currently supported right now. So things like vehicles, characters, other things like that. These are all things that they're planning on supporting in the future. I think this could be the game-changing feature that we've all been kind of waiting for um, with Twin Motion and Unreal Engine, so I'm super excited to get it downloaded and try it out. But in the meantime, make sure you check out those links in the notes down below. So again, I apologize for not having this downloaded so I can actually kind of walk you through everything, but I did want to let you know that this is now available because I think this is one of those features that everyone's been waiting for. I'm really excited to see what people can create because getting that full power of the Unreal Engine engine and all of its settings, I think it's going to be a great thing for visualization, especially if you can use Twin Motion to get your scenes set up before you do that. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you think it's a cool feature, if you've tried it, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.